Today I'm going to show you how to draw and create this rainbow elephant. Now it looks quite complicated but I'm going to show you a method, a very easy method to draw this elephant accurately. So I found the picture that I wanted to draw. I then put grid lines over the elephant and then faintly drew grid lines onto the piece of paper you want to draw on. So I measured my elephant and worked out the widest point was eight centimeters. I then measured down and it was 16 centimeters tall. So the elephant's head itself is eight centimeters by eight centimeters. So I started off with a line down the center and then I drew lines at four centimeter distances across and down the page. I then transferred these lines onto the piece of paper I wanted to draw on and then it's quite simple wherever the image crosses your guidelines you put a dot onto your paper. I've done these in a red pen so that it's easier for you to see. So mark on your piece of paper all the points where the image crosses the guidelines. So once you've prepared your paper with your guidelines, let's get started. Let's start from the center point of his head and draw this top part of his head. So here are where the dots, where the image crosses the guideline. If you start your lines with a dotted line, it makes it much easier to get an accurate end line. And then find your next point of your outline dotted line down and then fill in and then carry on with the bottom of the elephant's ear all the time checking the points on the guideline I like to do the outline of my image first so I'm going to go down to this point and join up so I've got the shape of his ear and now I'm going to go to the top of his head and carry on creating the top of his head and his other ear. So really throughout the rest of this tutorial this is all you're going to be doing is joining the dots and creating your outline. So. I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to speed up the video so that you can watch and see how it's done. Very, very easy.
When you've created the outline of your elephant, rub out all the guidelines and any parts of your drawing that you're not happy with and then start reinforcing and filling in details. I've then created outlines for all the shadows on the elephant and these outlines will be the guidelines for colouring in. So this is really down to artistic interpretation and how you want your elephant to look. Now it's time to colour in. So I'm going to start with the yellow in the centre. I've used the yellow to do the highlighted parts of the picture. And then on the warm side, my mid-tone I've used orange. And I'm going to use the red on the warm side of the picture for doing the shadows. I've used violet on the cool side of the picture for creating my shadows. I've then used the green on the cool side of my picture to create the mid-tones. And then shades of blue to create more shadows. So carry on filling in. You can use any kind of medium for colouring in. So either pens, paints or pencils. For this elephant I used ink pens like this and use them to colour in. I coloured, used the warm colours, red, orange and yellow on the warm side, um, blue, green and violet on the cool side. And then I decided to create a background. So I did lots of dots, dots close together under his feet to create the ground and then as you come up to the sides spread the dots out and you get this kind of dust coming up into the air effect. Now this was the elephant I did first and I did this one with watercolour pens so you can see the different effects you get from using different types of medium. And that's entirely up to you, your choice, how you want to create your picture and what you want the finish to look like. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future tutorials. And don't forget to upload your images to the Debezy Art Facebook page and we can display them in the gallery.